Hello and welcome to the Arabia. Once again, we are using Diver's Den charter boat, the Proteus, to dive this location. This is our final day of being chartered by Diver's Den out of Tobamori, Canada. And again, we're experiencing rough seas and gray skies. But even with this somewhat less than desirable weather, it hasn't seemed to affect the visibility at all. Randy suffered an ear blockage on the previous day of diving and unfortunately will not be joining us today. Just below the surface, it looks calm and clear, but today I'm going to find out why this is considered the most challenging shipwreck in Tobamori. As we approach the shipwreck, I notice the line goes down to the sea floor and then extends up to the starboard rail. Peter and I make the mistake of forgoing that line and head straight for the shipwreck. As soon as I let go of the line, I can feel the current coming from the bow and I expend a lot of energy getting to the wreck. Once I make my way just inside the rails, I quickly catch my breath and take in the amazing sight. The windlass and both anchors are still sitting proud on the deck of the bow. There is even a smaller third anchor that I have yet to see. All four bow chocks sit in perfect condition as if waiting to lead a mooring line to an even deeper shipwreck. The current is really moving as Peter swims next to the massive jib boom which sits on top of the bowsprit. The inner bobstays are also still in place and hang below the bowsprit. Both anchor chains are draped over the hull and rise up to where they're attached to the anchors on the bow. The Samson post, which is located just aft of the bowsprit, and both night heads on either side are still in place. Now facing aft, you can see the center board in the foreground rising up from the middle of the ship. The main mast lies resting on the port rail. Much of the starboard rail is still very well intact. At the stern, you'll find the ship's wheel and steering gear, which lay starboard of the after deck, which has also separated from the wreck and now rests against the starboard quarter. Next to the wheel, a plaque was put in place to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Arabia's loss by a team of divers from Wright State University. This is also the time and place where I can feel the distinct effects of nitrogen narcosis taking over. I stop engaging with the shipwreck and immediately head for the mooring line. I'm diving with a steel 120 on my back filled with 32% nitrox. But the large tank and the gas blend were of little use since I had already winded myself swimming from the mooring line to the wreck and also swimming up the jib boom. Now I must swim directly into the strong current to get to the line. I'm feeling a mild sense of vertigo and I'm really huffing and puffing trying to swim through this current. So much so that I collide with this broken deck plank. Again I make the mistake of foregoing the line that goes from the starboard rail to the sea floor and swim straight for the mooring line. 
Once again, I am needlessly winding myself and I am ascending at a rate that exceeds 30 feet per minute. But for whatever reason, I can only find security in the notion of grabbing onto that mooring line. I look down and I am amazed at how much distance I have covered. So I sit here and rest for an additional 10 minutes before making another 15 minute ascent to avoid any decompression sickness. I want to be extra careful, so I make an additional two minute stop at the halfway mark and a five minute stop at 15 feet, all while maintaining 30 feet per minute ascension rate. Had I followed the line to the wreck at the start of the dive, I'm sure I could have avoided all these issues. This has been an eye-opening experience and you can guarantee the next time I dive the Arabia, I'm going to follow the proper procedure and protocol. Over the last 30 years, 13 divers have lost their lives while diving the Arabia. She undoubtedly commands respect and should only be attempted by experienced divers. This is a very impressive shipwreck and I can't wait to get back and explore her further.